I'm Anthony Fleming. I work in London, uh, a place called Rice Manor. When I was at school, uh, we were studying Japanese woodblock printing, and a lot of like Japanese style tattooing takes influences from those prints. Um, so, like the natural progression of that, like projects, was to look at tattooing, and then I just kind of fell in love with it. And the artist that did, was doing my tattoo, she asked me if I'd ever think about becoming a tattooist, and it's something that I hadn't really thought about. Because I was so naive to the actual the whole industry, I didn't realise that it was even a job. I kind of thought, you know, it's just a hobby, and you know. I guess my style would be described as, um, people would say near traditional, um, but I think I kind of use a bit more, not realism, but realistic imagery, rather than very harsh sort of like colour changes and stuff. It's all quite intricate. Yeah, it's, it's a hard one for artists to kind of talk about their work and be positive, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I did a good job and my customer was happy, so that's the main deal. <laughs> I love her to death. She Hats me here. Me and my best friend have the same exact tattoo because we make spiritual jokes about reincarnating as ducks at Disneyland. This is from an acid trip, so it's really hard to explain, but it's Barbarella meets the Beatles number nine. This was when Bowie died. It's a combination of Black Star and his song about the bluebird passing on. That was also the Beatles' white album for Blackbird. Um, I named my home Rancho Relaxo, and we have a teepee, and that's what that's about. That's for my mother. That was my first huge piece with significations that are based on her. What's your most favorite one? Oh, shit. <laughs> I do have a certain affection for the rabbit. 